The expansion of renewable energies is key to the success of the energy transition. One of the challenges here is that fluctuations in the network increase as the share of wind and solar power grows. If less power is fed into the grid than is consumed, the network frequency drops. If more power is fed in than required, the frequency goes up. That has to be balanced out, because in order to have a stable power grid, the network frequency has to have a constant level of around 50 Hz. Battery storage systems can balance out such temporary fluctuations in the power grid using what is known as balancing energy. When power is in oversupply, these systems store energy. When demand rises again, they feed the right amount back into the grid. That's how they help to stabilize the grid. For this purpose, RWE is building one of the largest and at the same time most innovative battery storage facilities in Germany as the combination of a total capacity of 117 megawatts and the virtual coupling with RWE's run-of-river power stations along the Moselle River will set new standards. How so? By increasing or decreasing the flow-through at the power stations, RWE can make additional balancing energy available. With this novel coupling approach, the total capacity of the batteries can be increased by a good 15%, so battery and hydropower stations work hand-in-hand hand to keep the frequency in the power grid stable. This mega battery system is being built at RWE's power plants in Lingen Lower Saxony and in Werner North Rhine-Westphalia. It will comprise 420 lithium-ion battery racks spread across 47 overseas shipping containers, which themselves cover an area of around 10 football pitches. The facility in Vanna will have a capacity of 72 megawatts, while the one in Lingen will have 45 megawatts. RWE is investing around 50 million euros in the project. The battery is scheduled to start operating at the end of 2022. This mega battery is one of many projects that RWE is forging ahead on in the US, Germany, and Ireland. At the same time, the company is already working on other innovative projects like redox flow systems and second life batteries. In other words, the stationary use of former electric vehicle batteries. The common goal is to further refine and develop important battery storage technologies and thus help to ensure the success of the energy transition.